We're taking a look at film versus glass screen protectors, specifically for the Pixel 7 Pro. Before we dive in, to purchase these screen protectors or any others, visit the links in the description below. Let's start off with the film one. First, we need to install it on our Google Pixel 7 Pro. In the box, you'll get a jig that you'll put into the USB-C port, two film screen protectors, two wet wipes, two dust removal stickers, a squeegee, and finally, a microfiber cloth. As with any screen protector installation, you'll want to turn off your Google Pixel 7 Pro so the screen does not illuminate while you're trying to dab away that dust. Now the phone's off, you can insert the jig into the bottom of the device. Next, you'll need to clean the screen with the included wet wipes. Now, dry it with the microfiber cloth, making sure all moisture is removed. Next, grab your dust sticker and dab it on the screen to remove any dust. Take your time with this step as it's very important not to get anything trapped underneath the screen protector as it will bubble and ruin the look of it. Next, you need to carefully attach the bottom tab to the jig that is inserted into the USB-C port. Now, align the hole at the top of the screen protector with the camera. Once you're happy, you can remove this section and stick it down with the included squeegee. Next, you need to remove the bottom tab and pull the screen protector up away from the phone. Then, you need to push the squeegee down onto the phone and all the way along, sticking the screen protector down in one movement. Now, push down the edges of the screen protector and any bubbles out towards the edge of it. Lastly, you'll need to turn your phone back on and re-add your fingerprint as it will look slightly different now the screen protector is installed. Now the film screen protector is installed, let's take a look at the pros and cons. To start with, you can see this screen protector is incredibly thin. It adds almost nothing to the phone's thickness. It will easily fend off scratches and because it's plastic, it won't shatter like glass will. The added benefit is that they're normally a lot lower in cost. So when it's all scratched up, you can just replace it very easily. Also, the fact you get two in the pack means you will have to buy them less often. Talking to some people around the office, they mentioned they actually prefer the feel of plastic rather than the glass screen protector. Talking about that, let's move on to the glass screen protector. Installation is pretty similar. Again, start by turning your phone off. In the box, you'll get the glass screen protector, a wet wipe, a microfiber cloth, and a dust removal sticker. Clean your phone screen with the included wet wipe and microfiber cloth. Then, dab the dust collector on the screen, ensuring you pick up all dust. Then, carefully remove the back of the screen protector while holding the edge of it. Then, carefully place it down. I always line up the camera hole with the camera first. When you're happy, you can place it down. This screen protector has adhesive around the edges and on the film section for the fingerprint reader. This ensures that your fingerprint can still be read. Make sure you add your fingerprint when you turn your phone back on, as it will look slightly different now the screen protector is installed. Now we have the glass one installed, let's have a look at the differences. Straight away, you can see that this is a little bit thicker than the film one. However, that comes with the added benefit of protecting your screen a little bit more. The glass also still stops scratches from getting to the phone screen. But as this is glass, it can form its own scratches and yes, also crack. The feel of this screen protector is a lot nicer in my own opinion. However, not everyone around the office thought so. It is smoother and means there's no resistance when scrolling. That's why they're my go-to for protecting my personal phone. However, because of the underscreen fingerprint reader making this dark circle on the screen, I might be tempted by the film one for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I hope this helps you decide if you should get a film or glass screen protector for your Pixel 7 Pro. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like or subscribing. And don't forget to check the links below to purchase your screen protector for the Pixel 7 Pro.